The Romulan wing is up these steps. Greetings. I take it from the scowl on General Martok's face that this is not a social call. What brings you here today? Ah, yes. The name on so many lips these days. Fascinating woman. I suspect she'd make a good Romulan. After a visit to the tailor, of course. As for her whereabouts, I must disappoint you. I haven't the slightest idea where she is, and more's the pity. There's a considerable bounty on her head. Enough to buy a small moon, I'm told. As a child, I had good reason to think my grandfather was blown up by James Kirk in the neutral zone. Only later did I learn he died in an alley after an ill-advised life choice involving a senator's mistress. You can see why my parents chose to tell me he died a hero, hmm? Oh, sometimes we delude ourselves to avoid unpleasant truths. And such delusion can spread like wildfire in times of crisis. This one looks particularly smug, even for a Vorta. On behalf of the Founders and of the Dominion they created, I welcome you. Tell me, how may I be of assistance? What a fascinating question! Can you imagine how chaotic it would be in this hallowed hall if that were so? I honestly don't know who would kill her first, though I suppose the logical choice would be a member of the Klingon delegation. I'm afraid I'm not one to give consideration to rumors and idle gossip. I am a Vorta, after all. We prefer to operate in the realm of fact and truth. I do wish you success in your endeavors, however. She is here. I'm sure of it. We just need to keep digging. I believe it's time to escalate things. Let's go straight to the top, to the chairman himself. He's a crafty old schemer. If anyone knows, it'll be him. <laughs> Wide smiles, all of them. Their knives must be sharp indeed. Greetings, gentle beings. Until now, I have only known you by reputation. I am pleased to finally meet you both face to face. I've received word from Kronos regarding your mission here. How can I help? That would be unsettling if it were true. My security staff takes great care in their vetting procedures. If Matriarch Jaula has spies in our ranks, they'd know about it. I would know about it. Sadly, I think you're chasing your tail on this one. Hmm. What's this? I think you need to see this. It just came through on all channels. There was a time when I believed the tyrant. Join me! Impressive speech. This is the break we needed. That signal didn't come from space. She's planet side. Somewhere! So much for the Chairman's vetting procedures, eh? We must act quickly. Start the trace in here. See what we can find. You need to actually move to get a new signal. Hmm. This is a localized signal relay unit. Clever. We're getting warmer. But we're not there yet. It looks like the signal is coming from within the Chamber of Alliance. We should check the Chamber of Alliance for the broadcast signal. We 
should check the Chamber of Alliance for the broadcast signal. Signal is getting stronger. The signal is getting stronger. The signal is getting stronger. Another relay unit. Typical Mokai deception. Let's see that. If I'm reading this right, the signal is coming from the Gallery of Honor. The signal is getting stronger. Most human operas are timid, but I do enjoy the one with the cloud. Hmm. Interesting. This relay unit is getting a signal from below us, in the underchambers. There is an access stairway that goes down there nearby. It's behind one of the doors in the arrival courtyard. Here, this door should take us downstairs. Ha! <laughs> the last time I was down here, I'd had uh, too much to drink and thought I was on my way to the transporter room. <laughs> Let's just say it's easy to get lost down here, and leave it at that. Know this. There are plenty of dark places down here where Jaula and her forces could be hiding. Keep your weapon ready. If there's one thing Mokai love, it's a good ambush. Such a dishonorable Bichnuch! Kalis he is not, but Jempak has preserved the Empire through many a conflict. I may not like him, but I respect him. 